wonderful woman, Lady Markby, isn't she? Talks more and says less than anybody I ever met. Much more so than her husband. Although he is a typical Englishman, always dull and usually violent. Mrs. Sheevely, I think it right to tell you, quite frankly, that had I known who you really were, I should not have invited you to my house last night. Really? I could not have done so. Well, I see that after all these years, you've not changed a bit, Gertrude. I never change. Then life has taught you nothing. It has taught me that a person who has once been guilty of a dishonorable and dishonest act may be guilty of it a second time and should be shunned. Would you apply that rule to everyone? Yes, to everyone, without exception. Then I am sorry for you, Gertrude. Very sorry for you. You see, now, I was quite sure that for many reasons, any further acquaintance between us during your stay in London is quite impossible. Hmm. Do you know, Gertrude, I don't mind your talking reality a bit. Reality is simply the attitude we adopt towards people whom we personally dislike. You dislike me, I'm quite aware of that. And I have always detested you. And yet, I have come here to do you a service. <laughs> like the service you wished to render my husband last night, I suppose. Thank heaven I saved him from that. It was you who made him write that insolent letter to me? It was you who made him break his promise? Yes. Then you must make him keep it. I'll give you till tomorrow morning, no more. If by that time your husband does not solemnly bind himself to help me in this great scheme in which I'm interested... This fraudulent speculation! Call it what you choose! I hold your husband in the hollow of my hand. And if you are wise, you will make him do what I tell him. You are impertinent! What has my husband to do with a woman like you? <laughs> in this world, like meets with like. It is because your husband is himself fraudulent and dishonest that we pair so well together. Between you and him, there are chasms. He and I are closer than friends. We are enemies linked together. The same sin binds us. How dare you class your, my husband with yourself? Hmm. How dare you threaten him or me? Leave my house. You are unfit to enter it. Your house? A house bought with a price of dishonor? A house everything in which has been paid for by fraud? What the origin of his fortune is. Get him to tell you how he sold to a cabinet, a stockbroker, a cabinet secret. Learn from him to what you owe your position. <laughs>